Live. Live from the Groove Server Studios. It is October 31st. Halloween. How's everyone doing out there today? You trick or treating? You going out and getting some candy? Yep. What we got on our hands this year, folks, is one of those awkward Halloweens that falls, what is it, Tuesday? It's on a Tuesday. Halloween fell on Taco Tuesday. Mike and I are about to go over and get ourselves some delicious tacos from our favorite haunt, the Dog House. Pretty much what we do every Tuesday. Every Tuesday. This Tuesday just also happens to be Halloween. Halloween. Which is, you know, it's kind of disappointing because, you know, I feel like Halloween... Halloween, it, it belongs on a weekend. Would you not agree, Michael? I think it can fall on any day, and you should still be able to go trick-or-treating on that day. Yeah, just whenever you want to go. You don't need to take your kids out on, say, <laughs> three days before just because it's yeah. convenient for you and it doesn't fit into your schedule. You can just pick the day that you want to do it, and you just do it, damn it. And then I think that's why people, you know, they want to go on a Saturday or Sunday because, oh... I don't have anything like that works with their schedule. But yeah. here's the idea behind holidays. Yeah. It doesn't matter what your schedule is. It's a holiday. You adjust for it, not the other way around. Yeah, I guess you're right. You got to welcome Halloween into your schedule. You got to pencil some time in for that thing. It's kind of like, hey, let's all choose a day to do something different. And some people are like, oh, that doesn't work for me. So I'm just going to do it when it's convenient to me. And then they never, ever do it. It sounds like the opposite <laughs> of the spirit of a holiday to me. What is the spirit of, of Halloween, man? It's like witches and witchcraft and wizards and monsters and fucking uh, old uh, you know, Universal Pictures uh, franchises and shit. This, the spirit <laughs> is, let's do something different on October 31st than we do all year round. Just, just spice it up, man. What do you think? Stripes, Stripes su suggested our uh, costumes for today. They're just three dirty wigs. <laughs> no, we actually have a theme here. Uh, we are we're dressed as the band Nelson. Oh yeah, yeah. if you can tell, or, or actually, he looks more like he showed up for the winger tryouts. Oh, dude, I'm I'm a I'm in striper. <laughs> We're not an 80s hair band, but we do play one on Coffee with Stripes. Yep. So what, uh, are you taking the kids out trick-or-treating today to stick with the theme here, or did you already do that? You know, they're, they've, got, uh, they've got their Halloween covered for them. I've just been doing uh, the Taekwondo thing with the kids, and uh, you know, I did it last year. So. Uh, Trick-or-treat, Taekwondo, yep. When, yep. You, when you go around and <laughs> dressed as a kung fu warrior and say, uh, <laughs> They just get to they get to play with the other kids. They they already it was on the weekend, man. It's like I said, Halloween falls on a Tuesday. Nobody gives us. You gotta, you That's gotta, no excuse. You gotta That's fucking no, go to work. That is fucking Wednesday. That is fucking no, the next day's Wednesday. That's no excuse. <laughs> it's a holiday. If the Fourth of July came around on a Wednesday. Uh, you'd be pretty happy because that's like a five day weekend or when like, it comes like down to it. They give you Wednesday, Thursday, Christmas Friday doesn't off. give a Christmas will make up a new day in the middle of the week and just take that shit over and just be like, Yeah, I'm Christmas. It, it doesn't matter what day of the week it is. It's like, Oh, you you're gonna be around for Christmas Saturday? You know, they call it whatever. And Christmas is one of those good ones, just like New Year's. It, it, they have them both clumped up right at the right there together, but the ho the holidays are so important that you celebrate the eve of the holiday as well as the day itself. Exactly. You exactly. got Christmas, and then you got Christmas Eve. And then, you know what? They just, you, you might as well New just New Year's Eve, the whole, and then you got New Year's Day. You might as well just take the whole week off. Like, that's just, just the whole week's fucked. Just forget about it. It's that's like kind of how I've come to celebrate my birthday. It's yeah. just, there's, not, there's not much as, as, as a... Birthday a, Eve. There's not much <laughs> yeah. of a birthday, but there's a birth week. Yeah, and because mine's in August, and there are no holidays in August, I've always oh. taken a liking to just celebrating my birth month. You know, August it, needs to be celebrated in its own right. Calvin's also a, an August baby. And what day? The thirtieth. Oh, yeah, barely. Yeah, he's barely. scooched in there. He's, he's right in there. He's <laughs> right in there, just under the wire. Yeah, I was thinking about uh, you know, if, if I was king of America, 
King of America. If I was the king of America, I would make it so that Halloween was an official, like, you know, how, how Thanksgiving's on a freaking Thursday, Easter's on a Sunday. I'd make it that kind of deal. Same deal with Halloween. It would have to be, like, the last Saturday of the of October. Yeah. So you would just start rewriting the calendar on whims or... Yeah. I mean that would be yeah. what comes that's with what, being that's what, the king of America. Yeah, it's, ask ask a July and August about that. One. <laughs> <laughs> what are the two best months of the year? Yeah, that's me and my kid's name. <laughs> <laughs> and they they do got months named after them. Yeah, and salads. Yeah, I mean they they got and made. a casino in Vegas. Yep. Yep. Caesar's Palace, which is named after Caesar. I don't think it's the other I mean, way I've around. I've never heard of an Augustus salad. <laughs> an Augustus salad would probably have, like, artichokes and... It would just be a damn Caesar salad. It would just be the same thing, but, like, younger. You ever had a Greek salad with, like, all the artichokes and oh, yeah. all the... The ball of cheese. There isn't like a leaf in the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, it's just like <laughs> it's just a or vegetables you'd never find in parts of the world. And oh man, yeah, that stuff is banging. Do, 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 do. Oh, there's a band practicing a band. right across the uh, right next to these bones. Yeah. See, uh, I don't know if you know this, but the Coffee with Stripes has been upgraded many times over the course of this year. Constant. We revisions. used to go back and add the green screen after it, but now we now have the green live. screen now. Yeah. It and if does I, it. And if I were sitting by the computer, I could, you know, put images right from the internet, yep. and we could take. There's you so know, much stuff we could we could do if we were smart enough to think about it first. But we keep getting <laughs> all these letters, and they say, yes. you know, you know. Don't church it up. You guys just be yourself and do some talking. They, we we don't need all the fancy graphics. We just want to hear your our beautiful followers voices. want it raw. You know what? If we had if we had cause and occasion to pull out all that fancy shit, we'd pull out all that fancy shit. <laughs> Man, I'm gonna tear up that plate of tacos though. Oh. Uh, yeah, the thing about the doghouse is uh I bet I bet everybody that works at the doghouse is gonna be wearing some awesome costumes. Oh yeah, so we should definitely. Well, we'll keep our. Uh, our what, are, what, are, what are we trying to be docking? <laughs> we, oh man, oh, rat. <laughs> yeah, with two T's. Yeah, we're something bad, dude. I think That's I feel like you're right you're Farrah Fawcett. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I'm I'm something gross, dude. Yeah. Um, well, <laughs> we, I've also contacted what we're looking to do is I a, look like a white Rick James. There's a barber shop in Pioneer Square that uh, we I've contacted. We haven't heard back from, but this is the Pioneer Barber Company. And you can go in there and get a haircut, a hot shave, and a and cold a, beer. A cold beer. And it says that right on the business card. It's I think I got that sitting. So if you're sitting there and you're sipping your beer while you're getting your hair cut, what's the likelihood? You think they have that figured out so there's no beer hair cross-contamination? Because that, that would drive me crazy, dude. If I ever ate a piece of my own hair, my goodness. I just don't even, that's, It's just a nightmare scenario. That's DEF uh, uh, Eat a piece of your own hair? Just eat like it goes it, into my mouth and it, I'd be like, that is my hair. Ew. You know, that might sound bad, but that happens probably on a daily basis. Oh, well, yeah. That's <laughs> just part of how it goes. I was went to a... On a third date? Went to a KISS concert once. Oh, is the stream working? Looks like we're going in and out here, actually. We go. If oh, uh, no, there's a green light back on. So there was a Kiss concert for uh, the biggest fan, and the radio station had this, mm. and it's a uh, the contest. If you did the most psycho thing, you could get tickets to the Kiss concert, which was the Psycho Circuits tour okay. at the time, right? And you say eating a piece of hair would be bad. One dude cut off all his hair and smoked it. Whoa! And I don't even know if he won. Whoa! You got to burn the whole building down after that. <laughs> I think, I think the guy who won might have ate ten cow eyeballs. But the question is, did he get high off of his hair? 
that's oh. what everybody wants to know. Well, I guess it depends what he's been doing for the last three years, because it'll just come out there. Whew. You end up smoking some of the acid you took two weeks ago. So uh, I heard that uh, there's this guy that works for the Justice Department. Huh. His name is Robert Mueller. He doesn't actually work for him. He's a contractor, right? Oh, he's, he's, he's out. He's he's a former FBI yeah. director. <laughs> yeah, he was the FBI and he's director. A, he's like a special consultant. I think is there's what only his one. Is now. There's only one dude that has ever been FBI director for longer than Robert Mueller was FBI director. Uh, and I can't really remember. Yeah, it's J. Edgar Hoover. Happy Halloween. <laughs> but uh, yeah, serious. But um, yeah, so this Mueller guy, I guess he's been. Uh, Guess he's been pretty busy, uh, you know, indicting folks. So I've been, I just, I've, I know Mike hasn't read the news for like a week. I get my news from Stephen Colbert, like any good blooded dumbass American. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, yeah. But uh, yeah, I just been listening to that, and uh, yeah, he's just been, he's been serving it up, man. He's, 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 he, the first charge. On the uh, that guy Paul, that Manafort guy. Okay, Paul Manafort. Paul Manafort the, surrendered himself. They they turned he them, they themselves in. He, he drove. He had his you driver know, if, take if, him to if jail. If he was really connected <laughs> to Russia, I'm pretty sure he just would have gotten on a plane and fucking got yeah, some fucking. Got over it. Like if <laughs> he, he would have really pulled an Edward Snowden. And it's like, well, Russia will handle me. <laughs> that's the, that's the funny thing about Russia is you you could you could straight up commit treason in America where it's just like yeah the the punishment for that is usually life imprisonment or death. And uh, you can just get in a plane and fly over to Russia, and they'll be like, "Da, comrade, you will stay here with us." That's a weird. That's an uneasy relationship, man. I don't know. Yeah, well, you know, you know, think, you know think, they got their guys that did dirt hiding over here. You know, it's just back and forth. Think about that. If you have that kind of money and that kind of connections, though, um, these guys are probably just going to beat the charges. Like, even yeah, though everyone's yeah, yeah. going, woo. No, no, it's they're, all, they're, 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 they're going to beat the charges. Otherwise, they'd be gone. It's the it's the, it's the liberal wink fest, dude. They're never going to get nobody going to nobody's going to jail. And if they do go to jail, it's going to be one of them country club freaking jails. You know, you know what I mean? They're not. There's no punishment. There's no punishment, man. No. Didn't Martin Shkreli go to jail? What kind of what kind of prison is Martin Shkreli in right now? Well, kind of the same thing uh, you'd put Martha Stewart into. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He ain't, he ain't, he ain't getting. You know what I mean? There's no <laughs> bars on those windows. Yeah, they're just like you have to stay in here and not do specifically that one thing. <laughs> I think what they probably do is they get the the inmates from regular prisons to just be like their servants in the uh, like it's a it's a work program. It's not like. Yeah. It's not like Martha Stewart was <laughs> making any license plates down there, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah, kind yeah. of more of a, oh, no. uh, I only get a 20-minute oh, massage man. in jail instead of yeah. my normal an hour-long massage. Yeah, they're filling this out. They're so filling out. Mis- they're filling out appeal forms because the mi- the climate isn't mild enough in that region. <laughs> so you want to do a today or, or tomorrow. tomorrow? Bring it at me. Bring it All at right. me, Mike. Well, I just found one, and it says the page you're looking for is not available. But okay. we're, we're gonna we're gonna just pick another okay. one here at random. Okay, I'm gonna focus my psychic energy so that I will know the answer. Okay, so this might this might not even be the best one ever, but um, <laughs> citizenship for robots in. Saudi Arabia. Oh, dude, it's totally gonna happen. Totally gonna happen. Wait, totally wait, wait, happen? wait, 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 wait. Okay, yeah, yeah. It's wait. No, you know what? They just made like women human <laughs> like, a couple of years ago over there. <laughs> they're gonna. They're never. They're never gonna. You know, they're making the robots solely for the purpose of having somebody that's not them. The, well, that's that's what happens when you play, you know, you, you take so long to catch up 
that yeah. once you do, you're on acceler. That's the that's the oh, force of technology. Yeah, yeah, the kinetic <laughs> force of that. So yeah, I guess they're gonna make all the robots. They go from having women be citizens to robots being citizens within w- three weeks. What? And the robot is a woman. And there, there, it looks like it. This week, Saudi Arabia granted citizenship to a robot and unveiled plans to a fully autonomous city. Man, I am so, <laughs> I'm so scared of the damn future. Saudi Arabia <laughs> dominated headlines this week as the country became the first to recognize a humanoid robot as a citizen. Oh, God. And announced plans $500 billion, half a trillion dollars into a city that will run using artificial intelligence. Oh, fuck. We're fucked. And that's Sophia. And yeah, uh, I could probably... Hey, didn't they just buy a bunch of guns and crazy weapons off of us, too? Didn't yeah. They just, didn't they just buy $200 billion of a freaking weapon? These dudes have so much money that they just spent... They just spent pretty much like the American military budget for the year, which, by the way, is the most money anybody throws at anything ever. These dudes just, they just wrote a check for that shit. They were like, yeah, no problem. Yeah, we'll get one of those. Get artificial intelligence. Damn. Well, the reason they needed that all money is because they're, they're fighting a shadow war with Iran in Yemen mm-hmm. and in Syria. Yeah. And... We're fighting a shadow shadow war with Iran, <laughs> so Saudi Arabia is a perfect, you know, middle shadow. I, I guess, yeah, yeah, you know, I guess they'd be the easy one to run because it's the whole country's ruled by what, like, ten people. That's you got. You, it's sticky over in Iran because they're all like, "We're a democracy," you know. They get, they got like a government. I mean, sure, they got the one who's the president over there in Iran. That dude's been running shit for. Freaking ever? No, it's I don't. It's not a Medina Majad anymore. No. It's the, oh yeah, they're they've. It's it's kind of like saying, oh, I know the president of no? Mexico is Vicente Fox. It's yeah. like, you know, things do change. George W. Bush isn't the president oh, here wig, anymore. This wig is making my knowledge <laughs> less contemporary. <laughs> you, you talk. Yeah, you totally look like a dirt bag with that wig on. Oh, it's so gross. And I just look pretty. <laughs> How is it this happens? You're you're gorgeous. Stri- I want to Stripes is holding on to it. He's just kind of doing what Stripes is doing. You know, we don't talk about what's been up with him much anymore, but uh, he's producing a TV commercial for the show. Yep, we get we're getting it done this Thursday. Yeah, remember yesterday when I said Thursday? Yeah, well, let's I've, push it back to the weekend. Is no, I forgot that we switched to Wednesdays. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay, tomorrow. Yeah. yeah, ba- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, basically, uh, there's a football game on Thursday nights because, oh. you know, Sunday was not enough, and then Monday night football was not enough. They had to go Thursday. Are you ready for the football? And uh, Wes and Wilson, the uh, other two cohorts of the show, they yes. are uh, big football fans, so we tend to not get much work done on Thursdays and go watch the game at the doghouse. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> Do you know how many times a week I go to this darn place? Dude, when I was driving in... I was there when, for when, last no. call last night. When I, I was driving to work, I saw your van parked in front of the doghouse. Really? Yeah. Last night? Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, I saw the, the telltale, I saw the brown van... And I was like, that guy better not be eating tacos. Oh, no. Well, they don't start them that late. But it was Tuesday because it was after it was midnight it was at least. It was technically Tuesday. <laughs> I technically just started, Taco I Tuesday. Should, <laughs> I should have just started asking for tacos then. <laughs> what time is it? 12.01. Technically tacos. Taco. We need the tacos. Technically Taco Tuesday. <laughs> no, I was, I was there for... Well, they, again, not to just have my... Uh, you know, sh- uh, if I were a shill for the doghouse, I'd probably be paid something. But I'll shill in, for in them Georgetown. For free. It literally gets pretty sleepy about like eleven thirty. So I yep. I was at Slim's at six. Yes, and then I wanted to go back to Slim's at eleven thirty midnight. Uh, whatever it Slims? was, Slim's were all closed. They're all closed, and I drove by a couple other places. I said, you know, it's not closed. The doghouse, and of course, know. they were serving. Yeah, the, the, and you know what? They don't, they're not one of them funny bunny places. It's like, oh, we stopped serving food at some stupid time. You know, it says here the Saudi Arabian city that's going to be a fully autonomous, uh, the half a trillion dollar one. Mm-hmm. They said they're going to share it with Egypt and Jordan. Oh. That's, that's some that's nice. regional team building or you know what? that's whatever good. it is. That's, you, you know, know what? they're not going to share it with? 
Iran. Yeah, well, you <laughs> know, I, somebody, you know what? I, I got I got my problems with Saudi Arabia, but you know they they got enough cash to get their 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 job done, and it's good to see a, a solid uh, a, a, a brotherhood kind of thing go on in the Saudi world that you know can be appreciated in the Western world. Well, and just to wrap that up. That the answer is today, oh, they actually oh, granted that, that robot. <laughs> yeah, a woman robot. Yeah. got citizen like. But they won't let her drive citizenship. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we keep we keep getting the, the little red dot there, so I'm not oh, sure exactly this is, how. This is gonna be the how well the health spottiest episode ever. <laughs> this is yeah. You know, I could reboot these cameras like once every you know year. <laughs> yeah. I, this thing just runs the whole time. You would not believe the things that the I see myself do Uh-oh. while sitting on this couch. Be careful. <laughs> All right, let's. Uh, well, we got, do we have any letters? <laughs> trick or treat taco time. <laughs> All right, that was that was episode sixty something. Sixty two. Let's just start there. Maybe sixty three. Maybe is anyone there keeping track at home? You can just hit the like button. Uh, we see uh, we got one one viewer. <laughs> and thanks for listening. This has been Coffee with Stripes. stripes.